Alright, on to the soldering step. So I've got the LEDs on there. They're, they're, they're on there like swimwear. Um, I'm going to take my soldering iron. I've let it heat up for a couple minutes here. I don't know if it's quite ready yet. But one way to check... So I'm going to move a couple wires here. One way to check is to take some solder and tap it to your tip to see if it, it melts off. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're good to go there. This is... This is ready. Um, now there's some soldering stuff that you need to know about if you haven't done this before. One is how to tin your tip. Your tip should be tinned with solder at all times, nice and shiny. That transfers the heat from the tip to the connection a lot quicker, which is better, and a lot cleaner, which is also better. <laughs> um, I use an old jean hat to wipe off extra solder. So what I just did there that you saw was tinning the tip. Now you have to do that the first time, even before you even use it. So uh, look on YouTube for uh, tinning soldering iron. And that should show you how to do it. So, soldering iron is nice and hot. Um, you need at least a 30 watt soldering, soldering iron. Uh, I suggest 40. 40 is a, a good wattage. Or some soldering irons you can actually adjust the voltage. But you want it to be able to be hot quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this first uh, this first one, I'm going to connect the female connection to the negative. Let me just zoom in here. Let's see, if, see if I can get it. Whoop. As good as possible. So all I do, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, what, since I've pre-tinned the wire and the pads are pre-tinned from Rapid LED, which is really nice, all I really need to do is when the soldering iron is really hot, is I just touch the wire, like so, and that's it. You know, the, the, it goes really quick, makes a nice joint, nice and secure, and that's kind of how you do it. Turn it around, put it on my plus side, put my wire on my connection, put the soldering iron on there. I want to turn that a bit. And there we go. On there. And that's as simple as that. Just tap and hold, check your joint, make sure that there's solder been melted on the pad and on the wire and that it's nice and secure. Let that dry for, or let it cool down for a couple minutes before you start really wiggling it around. Also, it's also good to move the move the wire, not the uh, further away from the joint so your joint doesn't get stressed. So when you need to angle your wire, just take it about an inch up and turn it there. And that's it. And it's basically on to the next one, then on to the next one. Thank you, Jay-Z, for ruining that statement for me. Um, Alright, next.